Hey everybody! Alright, so the babies are taking a nap. We're at the tail end of our nap here, so it's just going to be a quick one. Uh, quick PSA for everybody because um, I hear it way too often and it makes me sad and I just have to address it, guys. Um, so all the time I hear it when I tell people that, oh yeah, I sell natural deodorant, blah, blah, blah. They're like, oh, I tried it, but um, it gave me such a bad rash that I had to stop. What? They're like, yeah, and I just, I tried for like two weeks and I kept putting it on and it just made my skin red. I thought, you know, I'm just going to wait it out. There's that detox period. Guys, PSA here. Natural deodorant shouldn't hurt. And if you're getting your rash, it's not part of the detox. That's not how the detox is supposed to go. And please don't wait till you're raw and red and bleeding to do anything or to stop because it is absolutely worth it to use natural deodorant. It is so important to do that. But it shouldn't hurt you in the process, I promise. So there are a couple reasons why um, a lot of people find that their natural deodorant is hurting them because um, most natural deodorants use baking soda as their main form of deodorizer. And as we all know, baking soda works real great to um, remove mold and mildew. It works great for air freshening the um, or keeping the fridge fresh. I use it to clean all my stainless steel because it works amazing for that in my bathtubs, but it does not go on your skin like that. Um, it, if you have used it um, to remove any sort of a stain or anything, you know that it's gritty and it's hard. And when you, even when I mix it with my vinegar and my, um, and I put water with it and I still rub it around, like just that feeling that you get, that, that grittiness, that's what's going right on your pits there. And it's rough and it can really cause your skin some serious irritation. And uh, most of the time when you see people getting red skin, they're not allergic to the natural deodorant per se. They're not allergic to the scent or um, any of the or any of the other ingredients in there. Most of the time, it is the baking soda just being so rough on your skin that um, it hurts it and it starts causing um, rashes and uh, sores and all this kind of stuff, which if you can imagine, means that your deodorant is going to be as effective because you've got wounds going on underneath your armpits. So um, I want to let you know that it's not supposed to be like that and not all natural deodorant is created the same. The one I use is um, a cornstarch base, uh, a non-GMO cornstarch base, all organic. And um, so it's made for the sens for sensitive skin. And everybody's skin under their armpits is sensitive. It's just a sensitive area. It is. Um, that's why it's so important to know what you're using on there and that you're not dumping chemicals. But it's also important to treat it well and to not be putting things on it that are going to uh, make it any more irritated or make it any worse. So um, guys, it's not supposed to hurt. And if your de deodorant is hurting you, Please let me know because I've got a better option and I do not want you guys to be living in pain just for the sake of using natural deodorant because it shouldn't be like that. Um, yes, let me know. All right, if you have friends that you feel like would benefit from hearing this or um, you just want to be supportive, <laughs> like and share this post. Um, I will be, if it's not public setting already, I just realized maybe it's not, um, I'll change it to public, but like, share, comment below with, if you have ever had this experience before, um, it's not, it's common, but it's not normal. So, um, I want to help make sure that people are not living with that pain. All right, guys, uh, babies are officially up. So nap time over mom back to work. Well, different work. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, I will tell you later.